Hello everyone. In our class, planning and design of airport, we have learned about the uh, air free pavement design. What is the core concept? But we have not discussed about the software, how exactly you can do the pavement design using the software. So in this video, we are going to check how you can use the software and using that software, how you can do the pavement design. So let's start. At first, we will see how we can download the software. I'm on internet web browser. If I search for Fint 2.0 download, whatever option that shows up, I will click into that. And after I do that, I will scroll down a little bit and I will see this far free 2.0. So if I click it, it will redirect me to the next page, which will look something like this. At the bottom, you will see the installation file. For example, this is the readme file where you understand uh, what is the compatibility and what of things that you need to have. And in this file, you will be able to download the installation file. And after that, if you install it and run it, it will look something like this. First, you can give a name to this uh, payment design, let's say design practice. So what are we are going to do? We are going to do the thickness design. There are a lot of things we can do. Like we can do the live expectancy. There are PCR. PCR is done for your rigid payment. So let's just focus on thickness design. Okay. Now, see in the in the runway, in the taxi, where there are different types of section. All the section will not take the same load. Right? So you will identify what is your full strength payment and what is not full strength payment. Those sections are going to be different, right? Say the section that we are designing, it is full strength payment. Okay. And what you are going to do is payment type. Which type of payment? It is new flexible payment, right? You see what all options we have. We have rigid payment, rigid, HMA over rigid, but we are not going to do that. We are going to select the new flexible payment, right? So we select that. This is a default option, but if it is not the same for your downloaded version, you have to change it once, then it will become your default version. When I have clicked the new flexible, the options are default setting has come here. Okay, this is the default setting. If you recall the process that we have seen, we have seen the first is select payment type, right? We have selected the payment type. After we selected the payment type, the next step was modify payment structure. So this is the default one. You can modify it, right? So let us see which is this part. This is this part. So this is the default setting. Now take a close look. The material from the top, it has been given. So the first is P401, P403. HMA layer, okay? The default thickness that you have considered, the trial thickness that it has considered, it is four inch. You see the unit here. And the material property you have to consider, right? So that material property, the modulus E, E is your modulus. It is in PSI. The value, the, the default value, it is given here. Then below that, HMA layer could be taken two layers. You can add one or two more layer. If you do not like the trial thickness, you can change this, you know, 3.5. You can change anything from all this layer. Subgrade, we are considering 10 CBR. If you do not like, say your actual CBR is 7, you take 7. Whichever, like, existing condition you have, you take it. And whichever trial thickness you have, you take it. There is no problem. Okay. So understand that we are necessarily in this portion modify payment structure what is the third step third step is we have to provide the air traffic mix so let us see how we can do it if we click here i i think you can see the mouse here at the left side at the bottom you see aircraft if i click here this is the aircraft library so there are different type of aircrafts are there there are generic aircraft there are different companies which makes aircraft, Airbus, Boeing, then military. There are different types of aircraft, right? And since you can understand this is a recent version, that means all the companies which makes or, you know, develop aircraft, they will give the data to FAA and they will include it in the library. So all the type of aircraft we have, you can see this on the left side at the bottom panel, you see the far field aircraft library. Here you see, these are all names of the aircraft. Now to select it, what you have to do is, see you want to select this one, right? So you double click, it will be automatically added here. You see, this is this has been automatically added. So when it is automatically added, this is only one type. Okay, if you want to type, if you want to get more type, let's take a few more example. Like say I want to take D35. I double click here, see D35 is here. 
So when it is taking it, let's see what all information it is taking. First is the name of the plane is D35. That is a nomenclature. Nothing technical. It's just a name. The gross taxiway. Now, you are an engineer. You are doing the payment design. You should know what is the traffic forecasting. So annual temperature, say it is default value is 1200. If you have your data, like so let's say 850. So you can change it. So right now, it could be 850 when you're making the aircraft, when you're constructing your airport for the first year. What is the growth? Like say you do the forecasting and you think the growth is going to be say 8%. So this is annual temperature, total temperature, it is going to calculate CDF contribution. And there are many other factors. You can see like what is the spacing between tires, what is the tire lane, contact area for different type of aircraft. It has been given here. So all those things would be given to you. What is the next step? So select payment type, we are we have done that. When we have done that, we have got a default setting. We have changed certain value in the default setting based on our requirements. After that, we have provided the traffic mix. After we have given the traffic mix, what is the next step? The next step is run thickness design. So let's run the thickness design. I have to just click here. But before I click here, just pay attention here. The thickness is 3.5. This is 5. 16.9, it is 7 CVR. If I run it, let's see what happens. When I run it, you see the thickness has changed. Right? It is not 3.5 anymore. It has increased to 4. For this layer also, it has increased. So understand the process. First, it, the default set that I have used, that was a trial. Based on that trial thickness, whatever load is there, that input I have given, Based on that input, it has calculated what is the cumulative damage. And based on what it has calculated cumulative damage, based on the screen, right? And when they have found that cumulative damage is not getting more than one, for that particular thickness, they have tagged it design thickness. So this is your design thickness now. If you want to change certain things, your design thickness will change. For example, for D35, like say if we instead of eight, let's let's put nine let's put this one to be nine this one to be nine and say annual depression is not 1200 let's say it's 2000 okay let's increase that little bit in and uh, let's increase it and let's run it if i run it you'll see the thickness is changing and how it is happening now if you add all the alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 you see if you add this it is exactly equal to 1 if you calculate all the alpha the cdf contribution is nothing but the slide that we have shown you earlier is this this alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 it cannot be more than 1 if it is more than 1 the section has failed so we will try to keep it is equal to 1 so for each load Basically, we are calculating alpha and we are summing it up for all the traffic and finding it whether if it is get, getting higher than alpha. We are trying to limit it is equal to 1. If it is getting 1, the software is saying this is my trial thickness. And this is how the payment design across the world is done using this method. So I hope all of you have got good understanding how we can do the flexible payment design for the airfield.